Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, family. This is your beloved brother, Minister Melvin. Family, we're going to be going along here within the next couple days and on into the next weeks. And every day after that, we're going to be going deeper into our studies and everything associated with pure growth and pure development and the upliftment and the awakening of everybody that want to be awakened, but particularly black people who are out here still walking around dead sleep. You know, family, there comes a time where people have to not wait no longer. There comes a time where you just, God called you to do something and you just can't wait no longer. I don't care who you are. When God called you to do something, you don't pay attention to what nobody else wants you to do. You pay attention to what God wants you to do. Distractions are going to occur in the field. That's on any battlefield. There's going to be distractions. But one of the things that my mama always told me is to always stay focused like a locust. And you can always gain traction by following your first mind. So as we continue to go to work on a plan so that we can get better as an individual person, we do so to get better into perfection, even though people say, oh, I mean, like, I don't care what you're doing, they're gonna always turn their nose up to you. Oh, look at her. Look at her hair, I don't even like her. What the hell gotta do with it? Look at him, I don't even like his, <laughs> look how tall he is. What how tall he is got to do with it? We work at perfection each and every day because Jesus, most of y'all say he's your Lord and the Savior. Jesus said, be ye perfect as your Father God in heaven is perfect. God is within you. Which God you serving? The one that want to keep you in the dark? Or the one that's going to hand you the torch so you can go hard? Justice for young dog. And take off our movement over here at the house under God in heaven right here is not going to stop with the awakening of our people. It's not going to stop. We don't give a damn. We're going to keep spreading light and shedding light on this young Dolph case. We're going to get some answers. The wicked ass police department down there in Memphis, Tennessee. See. If we can solve what happened to Mr. Tyree Nichols and saw what's going on within that Scorpion unit, we can find out who killed Young Dolph. If we pull and peel the onion back, there's different layers. Or we can find out who, who was a big contributor to the assassination of young Dolph and take off. Oh yeah. Take off case don't have nothing to do with young Dolph case. But take off case got something to do with Texas business. And people want answers. But unfortunately, the only one that can give those answers is Texas. We're moving in on this takeoff case. We're getting ready to send love like we always have been from the house under God in heaven. That way, 
We let Texas business stay Texas business. But why there's constant killing in Texas business concerning good people like Duke the jeweler from here, my hometown, Chicago. Even young Dolph being born in Chicago. Well, but but while we got good people being murdered and assassinated like this, we don't give a damn if it's in Texas. We don't give a damn if you're driving a Lexus. Motherfucker, we going to pull up, damn it, and demand some answers. Because it's babies out here watching this. Take off with somebody's uncle. He, he may have been somebody's father. He was somebody's son, somebody's brother. Damn it. We respect Jay Prince, and we're going to continue to do that. That's my brother. We respect Houston politics. But damn it, respect what comes from the heart that touches the heart at the same time. And just worship God and let's get to the bottom of what's really going on. And what's really going on is people need to have their shit together and to be constantly doing the right thing. That's not what's going on. It's some bullshit going on. Because if Duke the jeweler and Takeoff was really, really good people, and they were. If Houston was real good, then damn it, how come them boys weren't protected? How come them brothers weren't protected? Somebody was after them for some bread. And it all goes back to the money. My mama always told me if you want to get to the bottom of a damn thing, I don't give a fuck if it's in Houston or where it's at. Follow the fucking money. Excuse my language, but I'm pissed off. Oh. Justice for young Dolph and take off. Big announcement coming soon. Assalamu alaikum. So stay true.